Well, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Friday and it's a really busy Friday today. Uh, over at the Flip House, this is probably going to be the last time that we're over here. We're getting ready to close on this thing. Everything is cleared to close here, so that's really good. And I'm over here getting a couple of things up out of here. Some of our staging stuff. That, that. Uh, these are our bar stools, but we actually sold these with the house, so that's pretty cool. We got a separate bill of sale for those. I think we got like 60 bucks, maybe 80 for those. I think they're like either 60 or 80 a piece. So cool deal. Got that, getting some things up out of here, just checking on the place. And really, the only reason I'm over here is because I had to go across the street and had to go grab the purchase agreements, the standard purchase agreement for the next flip house. Friendliest flippers. Gonna be coming real soon. Got a chance to walk that house again, talk with that owner, and he's got some other properties that he wants to unload as well. I want to tell you this, and I don't want this to sound like egotistical because I, I don't really mean it that way, but I was feeling like an absolute boss walking from that house across the street over to this one with a damn contract in my hand. It almost makes me think a little bit of like that whole middleman assigning contract type of deal where people will get a contract on a house and they just play the middleman and get like 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars sometimes. What I've learned is they're doing that stuff for next to nothing now. A thousand, five hundred, three thousand, like, but it's free money to them. I don't know why I was kind of feeling like that also, except I am just straight cash homie buying these houses and no flex intended with that. Just sharing with you guys a little bit of what I've been thinking. So, what else? I sold a couch and a chair today for a hundred bucks. I sold a file cabinet yesterday to a dude that I think probably knows about After Prison Show, but he was a very nice guy. So if you do rock with After Prison Show, very special shout out to you, file cabinet guy. I got to get a haircut today. I got a wedding to go to tonight. Get to get dressed up to the nines. I got a little bitty inspection that it's gonna take place at two o'clock and I'm getting everything done that needs to get done. Videos are edited, stuff is in the bammer, and this weekend is moving time. Uh, Jaren's gonna be helping me move, and tomorrow and Sunday, I'm gonna be moving everything out of my primary residence and to my, to my next place, so busy times. All right, let's get the truck loaded up, get up out of here, everything's cool over here, and I'll see you guys after Joe gets that haircut. Oh, I'm going to my I'm going to my new place. Maybe I'll show you that when I get over there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you my new place. And then I'll show you a haircut. All right. So, welcome to my new house. Not a house. Townhouse. Condo. Townhouse or condo? What's the difference between the two? So, here we are. Uh, bang. A couple of things that we've already began to move over here. I mean, really nothing. Lucy and Louie. There they go right there on the on the big canvas, a little bit of artwork. There be my kitchen. Now this may look familiar to you guys. You're probably thinking to yourself, Joe, why does this look so familiar? Well, here's the crazy thing about it. I've moved back into where I used to live at, but this is my living room right here. I don't know if that big ass couch is gonna fit in here. Hopefully it will, I think it will. I don't know about that big ass TV. Eh, it might fit. Oh, look at that repair work. Ah, that's shoddy right there. I, I, I picked up on that immediately. There must have been a TV mounted to the wall right there. Shoddy work. I'm moving back to where I used to live at, but it's not where I used to live at. I mean, well it is, but it's not. So this is the same townhouse that I first started in. Okay, so I've moved how many times have I moved since I got out of prison? One, two, three, four, five. So I've moved six times in total, including this move, in almost six years. It's like I'm moving once every year. When I first came home from prison, I was living in Newport News in a, actually it's seven times, but we'll just start with Newport News. I was living in this uh, owner rental that was, it didn't even have AC in it. That was a horrible place. And then I moved to Chesapeake to another apartment that was a little bit better. It was close for me where I was working at doing the concrete porn job. And then 
when I blew up on YouTube, I moved, I moved to the hills. And I don't mean to make that sound crazy, but it's the truth. I moved to a really nice place. And this apartment right, or this townhouse right here is the exact townhouse that I started in. So from the townhouse that I started in, I went and got the biggest thing that they had, which was like a three-story monster. It had a garage. I don't need all of that this time. I just need, and me and my wife, we just need somewhere where we can hunker down for a little while until the housing market chills out. Because right now the housing market is ridiculous. It's a seller's market, which means that the prices are dumb high, interest rates are super low. So we're here. Now what's crazy about this is there are so many memories about this place. For example, this kitchen. I filmed in this kitchen the very first prison pizza video. The first thing that we need to do in this video is actually prepare our pizza dough. We've got our makeshift Tupperware prison type bowl right here and we've got our flour. It's time to make some prison magic happen. Jesus Christ, you scared the hell out of me. Anyways. And then over here in the dining area, this is where we used to live stream. We were live streaming and we were doing the, the paint night live streams way back in the day. Like this was the entire, like there was a huge green screen. Man, it was crazy. So I'm gonna show you, show you around a little bit. Got a bathroom down here. Just a little single bath. Bing, right there. Derby a toilet, front door, old live streaming area, but it's really a dining room. And then you got like this little nook, which I guess is either like a hiding place or maybe like a little office. I used to edit videos in this little cubby hole right here. All right, so let's go upstairs, show you show you the rest of this place it's pretty sweet nice hallway you got the washer and dryer bang right there you got my bathroom my wife tells me this is my bathroom so if you're ever wondering joe where do you shower at it's right here that's where it's going to be here is going to be the new filming room which is well this is where it used to take place at, right there. I got a nice little deck out here. So there's that. Nice little deck. Closet. Filming room right here. Very small filming room, but it'll make do. Don't got no idea where I'm going to be doing the bobo at. Might be in that closet. And then the master bedroom good size master bedroom this is actually a really really big master so nice master got the full size bath pretty decent closet here's the closet bang not the biggest closet but it's pretty good and then bang the big master bathroom it smells a little bit like pee pee up in here hmm. So there it is, Joe's new place. A lot of people, not a lot of people, some people probably wonder, Joe, where are you moving to? You know, you sold your house, you must be going bankrupt, yada yada, I see some wild ass comments, but this is where it is. Now, some of you are probably also thinking, damn, Joe, this is ass backwards. Like, why ain't you just go buy another house? Well, I just told you why. And, I am buying another house. I'm buying another flip house, maybe even two flip houses. And this is gonna give me an opportunity to save some money. So being here is gonna be way cheaper than being in a house right now. And who knows, maybe it will come a time when I really can't afford it and I need to be here. But I wanted to show you guys this. This weekend, we're gonna be doing a boatload of moving. And again, like I said, Jaren's gonna be helping me with that. So. You're gonna be seeing a lot of videos starting out from right here. Well, maybe some videos, maybe not a lot. All right, there's the MTV Cribs house tour right there. And gotta get a haircut. And I got a wedding to go to tonight. Unfortunately, I won't be able to film that, but I'll at least try to get you guys a picture of how fly Joe is looking. 
because I know I'm looking scraggly these days. But after that haircut and Joe in that formal attire, I'll be ready for the GQ photo shoot. So let's go. Oh, world. Probably should have done something with that this morning. All right, it is Sunday, 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 Sunday morning. And what a weekend it's been. It's been a pretty, pretty busy weekend. So we're moving. And the garage is almost cleared out. Got a bunch of trash over here. Jaren's helping. Special. Hello. Thank you to Jaren. No problem. How are y'all today? I'm super excited to be here, bless. Yeah, Jaren's been busting his ass this weekend. Greatly appreciate that. So we got a box truck, it's not ours, we're just renting it from the storage facility. And got a couple of things loaded up in there. And gonna go take all of that stuff over to the storage unit right now. We've already been moving in and moving in to our new place. So that's been exciting, trying to get the dogs and the cat familiar with that place. Stayed there last night, it was pretty good. And the biggest news of the hour is the fact that this morning, okay, for any of you guys who don't know, I've moved a bunch in the last five years. Like something like five times in five years. The first time that I moved since doing the YouTube thing, I was driving a box truck, going to my new place. I wasn't supposed to be driving, I didn't have a license, I was speeding got pulled over. So that's always been in the back of my mind, you know, that one incident that took place. Now, mind you, it's a lot of time separated since then. I've got my license now. However, Sunday morning, driving the box truck, I got pulled over again. I got some bad luck when it comes to driving a box truck that don't belong to me. So here's what happened. Here's what I didn't do. I didn't stop for a red light. That's what I did wrong. The first mistake was that I passed right by the police precinct and I saw the K-9 unit leaving from the precinct, coming in the same direction that I was coming. And I knew he was behind me. I can't really see out of the, the passenger mirror too well, which is not good. I, I've been trying to adjust it for the last two days that I've had this truck. Anyways, long story short, I was coming up on a light. It was yellow. I thought I could make it. It turned red and I couldn't stop. I mean, I was already committed. And I ran the red light. So... I get to the next light, and as I'm pulling up to the next light, I just glance out the mirror just to see if there's any activity from that canine cop, because I knew he was behind me. And sure as shit, he's got his blue lights on. Pulled me over right in the middle of traffic. And I ain't gonna lie, I was pretty nervous, even though I was legit, got my license, no car parts up in the car, nothing to worry about, like I am legit. So he comes up on me, he says, sir, do you know why I pulled you over? I said, absolutely. I ran the red light. And he said, well, any reason why you ran the red light? I said, well, because I'm driving this box truck. I thought I could make the light and I didn't want to slam on the brakes. I, I just didn't want to slam on the brakes. He asked me if I was moving. I told him that I was. He took my ID, went back to his car. I figured I was going to get some kind of a ticket for running a red light. Came back and he just gave me a warning. Now, mind you, I wasn't like trying to pull the camera out. Damn, cop, what you pull me over for? What you pull me over for? Where are my rights at? I asked him when he first told me, I said, please tell me you brought the camera out, turned it on or something. Not at all. I was no sir, yes sir. I'm wrong. I ran a red light. I know exactly why you pulled me over. I'm surprised he didn't ask me if I had been drinking. That crossed my mind a little bit later, but I hadn't been drinking. I just figured that would be something that they would do. He was very nice. He gave me a warning. He told me to, you know, get the rest of my move done. And that was it. So... I guess the lesson in this is, you know, sometimes if you do something wrong and you're legit, you know, maybe don't be a, don't be a, don't be an ass. I didn't even think about being an ass. I knew I was in the wrong and I only had to tell on rabbit, Yanni, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding when I say that. All right, we're going to go to the store, Joe. We're going to unload this stuff right here. We're going to come back. We're going to get the last of this because we're almost done. And that's all thanks, all thanks to me. No, I'm kidding. To, to Jaren. No. To Jaren and Joe. Hey, I can't do it by myself. It's not my stuff I'm moving. So, it's raised, but it's a joint effort. All right, let's get on the road and let's make it an exciting day and try to not get pulled over again. It smells like an ashtray in here. Hopefully, they ain't gonna charge us for that. Or maybe that's just the way we're smelling. All right, it's me, it's Jaren. 
Oh, Jaron ain't feeling it right now, folks. He tired. You all right? Yeah, it was cutting on him. We ain't getting no work, man. All right, so it's been a productive day. We're almost done with the move up in a truck. And we only deal until we're making a couple of sales. We have sold my computer desk. I think I'm shutting it down, folks. Having a going out of business sale. I need a smaller desk. And I learned that it's a desk shortage. Could have put a could have put an unlimited price on that desk, but I sold it for $60. It was well worth that price. Sold our bed. Sold the washer and well, we're in the process of selling both of those two things. People are coming to get the bed now. People are coming to get the washer and dryer a little bit later on. We don't need these things. We're gonna live that minimalistic lifestyle. Sold the other bed too. Huh? Sold the other bed too. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Jaren's getting a bed too. Jaren's taking my old bed. But uh, so cool deal. We're almost done with this move. It's been a hell of a long weekend. Special shout out to Jaren because he's been busting his ass right there beside me as well. He got pulled over today. I've seen a lot of police out there. It's the end of the month. Dude must have pulled me over as soon as he got on shift. But he was nice enough about it. Thank God he just let me go with a warning. And it didn't turn into a high speed chase in a box truck that don't belong to us. So we're gonna go back and get ready to sell a bed and get ready to wrap it up for the day. So back off to the house that's about to no longer be mine. Bittersweet. Pretty bittersweet. <laughs> to make that like a little dramatic thing the last box probably didn't work but for the most part we're done got probably about a little bit of cleanup to do over at the, the house and yeah that's it gonna cut the grass over there one more time that's gonna be super bittersweet so I got nowhere to film right now, but I've got all of my stuff moved. I ain't even got no green screen or nothing. I've got no Bobo area right this second. I ain't got no internet. Ain't gonna have internet until Tuesday. I've been talking with a lot of people too over the weekend and hopefully some pretty big things are in the works, but it has been a tiresome and grueling weekend. It was a lot better moving out than it was moving in. There was a lot more stuff and it was just crazy. We've also sold quite a bit of stuff, sold the desk, sold the bed sold a washer and dryer these are things that we don't need anymore we're getting new stuff and we don't need a washer and dryer right now i don't know how long we're gonna be at an apartment it could be like six months maybe hell who the, who the hell knows but one thing's for certain it was the smarter move to make for us to be able to save some money and see what the housing market is going to do but it is bittersweet. That was the first home that I bought with me and my wife and we were going through you know, crazy times when we bought the house, but whatever. Um, she was kind of upset you know, leaving the house today. She asked me if I was gonna miss it and of course I'm gonna miss it. We got a lot of memories in that house, but I told her, I said, it's on to bigger and better things. So here's the hoping for that. I wanna give a thanks to Jared. He really helped me out this weekend if it weren't for him. Well, I don't know what I could say. You find out who your friends are when it's time to move. And I'm kind of kidding saying that because had I needed some additional help, I'm sure I could have found it. But it's closing time, folks. Time to wrap it on up. Make sure I got my keys for a lot before I end up locking those in the storage unit. And I'll tell you one thing, this box truck right here, this is a f-350 box truck this thing it's a ford this thing runs horrendously and it's brand new like the ride is unbelievably rough put a lot of the driving on this thing but we're done with it so 
cool deal. The move is completed and it is time. Everybody always asks me why I start the vehicle when I'm not in it. It's just what I do. It's time for the next chapter. So I'm excited for that. Thanks for rocking with me. And I look forward to bringing you guys some more content the best that I can real soon. Have a great day. Did I say thanks for rocking? Thank you for rocking with After Prison Show. I feel like I should say something. Like, have a good evening. Go eat something good for dinner. Spend some quality time with your loved ones. And watch something good on TV. That's how I wrap up the Bobo. So I'll just go ahead and wrap this video up like that. Peace! Thank you.